the Greeks uh, have always appealed to me, and I thought that the monkish scribe, uh, who saved uh, most of the myths in the Dark Ages, let a few slip between the cracks. So I thought I had to restore one of them. Uh, this was published in the Paris Review and in that good old gay magazine, uh, Christopher Street, The Marriage of Dionysus and Apollo. When Dionysus and Apollo met, the gods were angry, the goddesses were sleeping. The two such equals and such opposites should join together to the general peril. Love so unbridled would disturb the state of earth and heaven. No one will be safe. Safety, said Dionysus, is a sin. It would offend the body, sang Apollo. And they continued at their amorous play, setting the nosy gods to doze and babble. Dionysus fuddled them. It was his way. Apollo, turning from his pleasure, dazzled. They took a day to savor their delight, a night to kiss, the kiss, of course, a French one. Made it was a week before they lay so deep within each other that they melted. They gave themselves themselves. It was a marriage that needed neither ring nor sanctification. The clergy, who were not invented, were not invited to the celebration. Every animal, man or god, after sex, sings in his blood. They had been down to earth for contemplation, and even gods admit to imitation. They sang in harmony their reveling song, and earth beneath them heard the noise. It had the heavenly sound of manly lovers, light in its burden, rough in its undersong. 